Hello, 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 our friends. We're so glad you're here. We love to see you every day. Let's give a hello cheer. Yay! Good to see you guys again and welcome to Classroom 5. Miss Nancy and myself, Miss Juanita, are going to talk to you today about art. So art has different forms. So today, Miss Nancy and I are going to create while we talk to you guys a little bit about some of this art. And we're going to show you guys what we kind of created. So you can get to see the minds of us. Oh, oh, oh. So let's go. I'm going to start talking to you about the different forms of art. But one of them is drawing, painting, or photography. That's where you take a picture and blow it up, make it nice and pretty so everyone can appreciate it. Then you also have appreciation of music and buildings and architecture. That's what the appreciation of buildings is, is architecture. So some people just like to go and see how buildings have changed over the centuries or the months, the years, and just over time. So if you guys have been hanging out with us a little bit, our room has changed. Not a lot, but just a little bit. The blackboard, the board in the back is special. So that's just one or two ways to uh, of ways of oh, art. My bad. Of oh, art. You can also listen to art. That's where you listen to music, or you listen to a classical story. And a classical just means that it's an old, old story that's been around for a long, long, long time. Like a Christmas carol, since Christmas is coming up. Like the gingerbread man. That's a story that's been around for a long, long time. Oh, another story that's been around for a long, long time is Hansel and Gretel. The kids who like the candy so much and got stuck with the witch. Ask your mom, she'll tell you. What else can we do for art? I think you could take your scarves and dance a little bit, however the music moves you, or however you feel. Or you could just put on your music and just get your boogie on. Just move. Move however that I, music moves you. Ever it makes you move. You can also Get a book and look at pictures that someone else has painted. Or, hey, you could just make your own. That's a thought. And share it with mom and dad. I'm almost done with my picture, Miss Nancy. How about you? Yes, I think I'm about done. Art is all about expressing yourself in whatever medium you use, whether it's uh, dance or um, a picture or painting or any type of expression. Now, just really quick, I'm going to give you a quick insight on how you can bring art into all five of your senses. You can see art by looking at books, going to a museum and checking out the artwork on the wall. So just looking around your neighborhood. Art is everywhere. It's in the sky. When you look up in the sky and see the clouds, what do you think they look like? Hmm. Maybe I'll draw a picture of it. Ooh. Okay, I'm ready. Maybe, just maybe, art is in the cars that pass you by. Hmm, something to think about. Some of those old, old box cars, the cars from 1920. You know you've seen them on the road, especially here if you live in Daytona. Mm -hmm. Let's see, so that's how you can see art. Oh, you can smell art by just picking up the flowers. The roses when you walk by the store, take a quick smell. Art. It's a perfect art. No one had to touch it. It's just natural art. Um, you can create with your baking. You can make a cake. That's That can be artistic. You can decorate the cake. You can make cookies. That's an art form. Because you're creating. Did I leave anything out? Oh, I didn't talk about how you could taste art. Hmm. So sometimes they make these fruit baskets. I know you've seen them. They've got apples in it. It's got oranges. It's got all kind of little good, good, goods in it. Art. 
And then you get to eat it. It's edible art. Let's see. Did I think of, can I think of anything else? Did we cover look? Because we can see it. We can listen to music. We can taste it by eating some. We can smell it by smelling some flowers. Or, mm, hey, how about those smells mom makes when she's cooking? I know you consider that. That should be considered art if it's not. She's in that kitchen making magic. It's going to taste good. So it's going to look good and it's going to taste good. Oh, hey, that's two of them at the same time. <laughs> Let's see, what did I leave out? Well, you can move. You can do a little jig because you're so happy with that food and the taste of it. I know Ooh. I do. I know I do. When my mom bakes my favorite, favorite cake, we at the table. Hey, I got some cake. Hey, I got some cake. <laughs> you can't have that. I got this back. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to show you my, I can't oh. wait to see what your, your picture Hold on, looks we like. didn't introduce the, pri the princess, oh, the private the princess. princess. She thought she'd hang out with us. Okay, you guys, say hi, say hi. Hi! All right, so my private princess is dressed up in, oh, let me hold up so you guys can see it. She's got on her boots. She's got on her little dress and her bag of booty right there. And she's got on her headband. And that's an art form. That's she chose form. those those clothes. They are called period clothes, meaning the era of which the clothes were worn. All right, so you have a seat. Sit right there. I'm going to turn myself. Oh, let me move on. Book. This is another thought. You guys are reading stories. Our mom's reading stories to you. You could think of something that she said in the story or something about the story that you could go sit down and draw and make your own art. Ha ha. Now I'm going to turn it. So you can see what Miss Nancy drew. Let's see what she did. Oh, oh my, 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 my. It's a beautiful spice of color. Can you see that? Oh, and she let some drip down. So I see, just, art I just get my cloth and clean it up, but that's okay. Oh, art can be messy. Art can be messy. We like art that's messy, don't we? Don't we like to get our hands dirty? I know I do. So look, she got some sweeps and some circles. She's got some dots. See, art. I was thinking about dancing. I was thinking about the ribbons. Ooh. And that's what inspired me to make those lines the way I did. Oh, well, guess what, Miss Nancy? Great minds think alike. Oh? Because on my side, <gasps> oh. I drew up a house. And I was thinking the same thing when I made those squiggles cross the top in blue for the sky. I was thinking about ribbons dancing in the wind. Uh -huh. Again, a visual art, something you can see. So, I put that there. I'm gonna put that there. Now, as Miss Nancy was saying, we can use these ribbons to do art. We use them to mm, go up and down, around and around. We could use them a variety of different ways. Can you think of some? Let me give you a second so you could think of just one or two. Think, think, think. If you know something, shout it out. Just another second for you guys to think on it. So me and Miss Nancy are going to give you a quick demonstration on a way you could possibly use your ribbon.
Okay, friends, we decided to sit down and use our ribbon. You could just as easily just stand up. You could have easily just not use ribbons and just did the start movements. It could be any other song or any other movement that you choose to do. Just remember that art is in the way you see it. If it's pretty to you, if it's handsome, if it's beautiful to you, then it's art. Doesn't matter if I like it, Miss Nancy likes it, Mom likes it, or Dad. Does not matter. If you think it is beautiful, that it is worthy of a moment of your time to pause and look out, look at, then it's art. So, I suggest that you guys go take a little time, go roam around the neighborhood, go with Mom and see what you can see, and find some art. And share with Mom what you think is art. What do you think, Miss Nancy? Sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, and so until our next time, we want you guys to be well and take care of each other. Till the next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.